so it's fall here in Atlantic Canada and I know what you're thinking most people assume when I say fall in Canada it looks something like this but I'm here to inform you it doesn't quite look like that you know against common misconception fall in Canada looks more like this I'm glad I could clear that up for you episode number 73 of the Langell Show. My name is Brian Langell and you know before I even get started I want to say thank you to the almost 30 people who tuned in to see me live on Blog TV last Friday night. I'm in the midst of doing a recap show where I'm basically taking the hour and a half, that's right an hour and a half and shrink it down into like five or six minutes of bits so you guys can check it out. When I get that done I'm going to put it on the Show.com and YouTube.com but uh, for now, you'll just have to wait until I get a chance to edit it all through because Blog TV doesn't give you the option to simply just download a video and, and upload it. Uh, yeah, they give you the option to download, but when you download it, you get like 30 seconds of audio and then there's nothing. So what I've had to do is I've had to go grab the audio, splice it in, match the lips up, and uh, you know go from there. So when I get that done, you guys will see it. And a lot of people have been asking me, Langel, when are you doing it again? And, well, I'll be honest with you, I had no intentions of doing it ever again. I figured, you know, I figured the first one would be enough of a shit show that we wouldn't have to go through it again. But apparently it turned out rather successful. And therefore, I'm announcing that I'm doing a show next Friday night. Not this coming Friday, so don't make any plans for that. But the following Friday, and yes, there'll be a promo video to go along with it, I will be live on blogtv.com for round two. Anyway, yeah, like I said in the live show, I plan on talking about lawn mowing in episode 73. Well, this is episode 73, so let's get into the mowing, shall we? Um... I remember mentioning during that show that my dad had a Alice Chambers lawn tractor uh, uh, look something like this and yeah memories anyway look something like that and I bugged him dad 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 can I mow the lawn 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 and we had this huge lawn when I was a kid now I don't want to say that it was the biggest lawn in in the entire area because I grew in a grew up in a farming community odds are there were fields around there bigger than ours but we had the biggest lawn on the street it made great for tackle football until someone would get hit and cry and go home and then the game would be over but you know as far as area goes it was great for that and I decided that I wanted to mow the lawn so I kept bugging my dad and bugging my dad and eventually he let me do it he figured he would mow all the parts around the tree, so all I have to do is just mow in a rectangle until it was done. So one day my dad found this idea, you know, Brian, you want to mow it, and he gave me the keys to the lawn tractor, which was great. Like I said, it looked like this. So, uh, yeah, you can see that it's not exactly up to safety standards of, you know, 2008, and it wasn't even really up to safety standards of 1988. 85, 83, anywhere around there, I'm sure it wasn't anywhere near, uh, you know, status and code. Anyway, my dad handed me the keys. I felt like, you know, I was 16, I was getting my first car, but in reality, it was a lawn tractor. And he said, Brian, all I want you to do is just mow a rectangle, okay, and just keep going until there's none left, and then, you know, drive the tractor back down, you know, into the driveway. Seems simple enough. So my dad actually had company over, so they're up on the, on the deck. And I start, I'm a really excited, right? So I get on the tractor and I'm going. And my dad wouldn't really let me go very fast. He told me the best thing to do is just go slow. So I, I'm, I'm driving the tractor and things are cool. And I get to the first turn and I, I, I make it and I make the turn and it's awesome. So I'm up one stretch and I'm across the side. I make the next turn down by the trees, but I'm avoiding them completely. I come down the other side and things are still going cool. I make the turn and I end up making a complete rectangle. And I'm like, mission accomplished. Yeah, I can do this. So my dad at this point, after seeing me do one square around, is pretty confident that, you know, you know, Brian can pull this off. And that's where the mistake happened. Because I, I turned right to go back up, you know, the second strip. And I'm going along, and I'm like, this is great. I'm looking around, I'm seeing things, and things are cool. And I'm totally marking out over the fact that I'm pulling this off. 
and I make the turn, or I go to make the turn to, to cut sideways, and I end up not quite making it. And so the tractor's now going on an angle towards the center of the, uh, the rectangle, which means I'm way off course. And at that point, this whole fight or flight thing kind of went through my mind, and I figured, okay, now I can either try to get it back on track and, and, and try to wheel this out, or I could, you know, just jump off and take off. I chose to jump off the tractor, so, <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, so I, I jump off the tractor, and it, like I said, it didn't really meet safety standards of 2008. Nowadays, when you, when, as soon as you leave the seat, there's a pressure uh, sensor, and if you get off it, it realizes there's no one on the tractor, and then it immediately cuts the engine, everything's fine. Not in the 80s, kids. I get off the tractor, and the tractor keeps going. So I'm flying down the gun going, I didn't mean to! And I'm running down the yard. Meanwhile, behind me, the tractor is now plowing over Dad's pear trees, which, of course, you know, weren't ready to produce fruit yet. They're only, like, this high. Well, they're gone at this point. Then it goes into the garden through Dad's potato patch, or plants, whatever you want to call it, over where the carrots are, and then it goes down into the ditch. Yeah project over. Uh, Dad starts going up, you know, trying to get the tractor and everything else. Of course, he can't catch it in time, so into the ditch it goes. I don't really remember much after that. I think I actually just kept running because I didn't want to deal with my dad. Uh, that was the last time I was allowed to mow the lawn. Well, for years, anyway. Uh, the Alice Chambers lawn tractor turned out to be okay. It was built like a Sherman tank. You, you, you couldn't hurt the thing. It was just, you know, destruction on wheels though, because it took out trees and the garden and the potatoes and the carrots and then into the ditch. So, anyway, lesson learned. Don't let your kids drive lawn tractors because, you know, that's what happens. At least, you know, before the whole active sensor thing. Now, You'd think that that would solve the problem. There wouldn't be any more issues with, you know, you know, me and lawn tractors because, you know, as they advanced, I grew older, and eventually I get the keys back. Um, no. In fact, in part two, this is going to be the first ever episode of Land Show that has a part one and a part two, by the way. Uh, in part two, we continue our adventures of mowing ain't easy when Langell gets the keys to a new lawn tractor. You'll have to stay tuned for that, but I'm willing to bet you that if you're waiting for the all happy, fuzzy, you know, you know, feel good moment, this one costs about fifteen to seventeen hundred dollars. Take care. <laughs>